Hey there, guys. I, uh, timed that really poorly, but, uh, Fragomatic here, and this is the dragon on the NES. I found this mysterious little title when I was digging through my, uh, ROM list. Let me... Let me turn that down a little bit more, because wow, that is annoying. Okay. There we go. As fun as it would be to play this in Arabic, the English is pretty delightful. So, yeah, this is just labeled The Dragon Pirate Unlicensed. And every now and then, as those of you who do a lot of research know, you just find something that is just gold. Just amazing. And this is that. I'm gonna up my lives a little bit. I don't think I need to. Here's the controls. Check these out. Looks like we have lots of stuff, don't we? It's not that much. So, what is this? About the Bruce Lee. So, I think this is supposed to be based on Enter the Dragon, but, um... I'm... I'm not really sure. And the first thing we get is to beat up Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, because, you know. And these segments are extremely hard. Because the AI hits harder than you. And can also just stun lock you if it feels like it. You're gonna see me abusing the, uh, sweep a lot. That's because the sweep does, like, two times the damage of all the rest of, the atta of your attacks, aside from jump kicks. Which means that your regular punch and your standing kick are both basically worthless. There we go. I, I think you beat him already, Bruce. And between boss fights, we get really miserable scrolling stages. So I don't get these guys in particular. If you're ducking, the weird running men just straight up can't hit you. The spikes are instant death. These boxes can have a few things in them. They can have absolutely nothing. They can have bombs, which will severely mess you up. They can have what I think are supposed to be meat buns that will heal you a little bit if you're hurt. Or they can have nunchucks. Nunchucks do nothing but change the hitbox of your punch. They don't make it better. It still it does terrible damage, but you can hit things with it easier. All right, now we don't have tiny platforms. Let's, uh... Okay, that one had nothing. This one I'm pretty sure has a bomb. Incidentally, if you touch the bomb at all, it immediately explodes and you get hit like 16 times, which is cool. Ah, uh, here's the, uh, meat bun. Which does absolutely nothing, because I'm completely full up on health, but you know. So aside from the music, I assume a lot of you are probably thinking, this doesn't look too bad. The only reason it doesn't look too bad is that I, uh, in my practice playthrough, managed to figure out how to cheese the crap out of this game. It controls really poorly. 
And while I think I managed to beat it on the first my first go through, I'm not confident I'll be able to do it again. The I think is a very large asterisk asterisk, which uh We'll either see, or I will tell you, when we get there. Oh, the other thing about this game that I, uh, almost forgot. There are no checkpoints mid-stage on these scrolling stages. You either make it all the way to the end, or you, uh, start over. Which is real cool when you die in the last fight of a section later in the game when enemies that are actually a threat start showing up. Oh, that blue bar down there is, uh... If it fills up, I can push A and B at the same time to do a special move which basically just clears the screen. Or if you use it during a boss fight, it damages the boss a bit. I like to hold on to it until either a boss or in some stages. Some of the waves get a little ridiculous and it's easier by a huge margin to just kill everything. We won't see any of the actual really threatening guys for another until the next stage, I think, is when the first ones start showing up. It might be stage three, I forget. So here's, uh, Johnny Cage. Oh, sorry, I mean Ram. Rom? He can fire, uh, mitochondria at us, which is... A skill I don't recall him having, but... Also, if he tags you with his standing punch, he will hit you like eight times and almost kill you, so... Fairness is not really on this game's, uh... radar. But, given how easily I'm destroying it this time around, uh... I can see why. Once you know the tricks... The AI is a little lacking. Alright, let's see if I'm right and this is the stage where the little guys start showing up. Because those guys are huge jerks. Yep. Meet the most threatening enemy in the game. Especially later on, when like three or four of them start showing up. If you can get... the timing down so that they don't jump over you, they're way less threatening. But that's a little tricky, because I never figured out exactly what makes them jump. Also, every single one of those smoke things on a bomb will hurt you, so that's why I haven't been opening the ones... Oh, here's the nunchuck. This is all it does. It still takes a million hits to do anything, as opposed to just sleep kicking. Oh, 
Also, if you take a hit, you lose them. Might as well use a little move variety, right? But yeah, as you can see, I, I think you can understand why I felt the need to preserve this for the ages. Hey, Little Mac. How you doing? Little Mac is not ready for people to be kicking him. I think this is the first non-boss fight stage I ended up dying in, because a couple of the later waves are really nasty. Unlike the other running jerks, even if you're ducking, these guys hurt you. If they touch you. There's a very particular bit of timing you can use to kind of exploit some invincibility frames you have while you're sweep kicking, but it's very hard to do reliably. Much like the running guys, the boxers, the Little Max, are 100% unable to deal with you if you are ducking. If you're standing, they will basically knock off half your health in one combo, though, so... Be ready for that. And here's where things start getting a little ugly. Like I said, those little guys are by far the most threatening, just because they're the only enemy that will actually jump over you. And turning around in this is not quick. Next one should be the last one, if I'm remembering right. That should bring us to our next boss, Kano. Sorry, I mean Tat. And his icy killing pugilism, the skill of sky gliding. I don't know what any of that is supposed to mean. Also, this is the point where the bosses just start also flat out getting way more health than you. I've probably lost this one already. Yep. 
Yep. There's a point where after you've taken a certain amount of damage, you basically can't win anymore. Unless you luck out and the AI goes stupid. Not having any luck with Kano here. I seem to recall he and the next one were two of the hardest. I think I should get him this time. Yeah, it only took you three tries to beat this dude up. So, with a new stage, we get a new enemy type, and I think they show up immediately. Yep. Look at that. Possibly the single worst sumo wrestlers I've ever seen in anything. That jump is really awful to make, incidentally. The sumos occupy a weird place in this game of potentially being threatening, but they almost never actually do their attack. If they do attack, they will hit you for a load of damage. They still won't mess you up quite as much as the Claw Dudes will, though. The Little Claw Dudes. I can't believe I'm still playing this. If I'm remembering right, though, there's only two bosses left anyway. Now, for the Little Claw dudes, the best strategy I've been able to find is to hit them, and then just kind of follow up and try and tag them when they back up. 
doesn't always work. But it usually prevents them from their jumping around crap. Yeah, I thought this was the last fight. I did not want to die here and have to go through all that again. Rip. Oh, hey, free smart bomb, at least. Oh, by the way, thought that was the bad part? Nope, this is. Oh. So yeah, that would have been a game over if I had not upped the lives. That doesn't matter a ton, the game gives you a couple of continues to work with and it's short enough that that is fine. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Yeah, that's the danger of jumping in on the sumo. If your hit doesn't connect, either because you straight up missed or the hit detection decides to be crap, they will hurt you a lot. have some health in one of these boxes. <coughs> there we I love the ridiculous amount of sprite flicker. So here is uh, Sonya Blade, wizardry chi skill of wave, and also I mean Alice Yang, obviously. What was I thinking? Her most dangerous attacks, unlike Kano, are all standing attacks, which actually makes her a little easier. And by a little easier, I mean incredibly. Except this can happen. If the AI had wanted to, it could have straight up just killed me. And that brings us into the last set of stages. As far as I'm aware. 
I'm not sure if they're supposed to be the last set of stages, but they are. And as with all the rest of them, we will have one new enemy type eventually. There he is. Just a black dude who wants to punch you right in the face. As far as I've been able to tell, they work exactly the same as the boxers. The only thing they can do is punch, standing. So ducking, again, renders you functionally invincible. Sticking in those knife guys who hit you with contact damage, no matter what you're doing, with any other enemy, is pretty much the only, like, real jerk move the terrible AI of this game can do. It's only because you have absolutely no way to deal with it. There we go. No point in even messing with these boxes, the unchucks don't do anything worthwhile. I still don't get these dudes. Now we're most of the way into this, I'm sure you can see why I think these little dudes are the most dangerous. Aside from me screwing up and the bosses, they are the only enemy that actually lands hits on me reliably. Well, and the contact damage guys, but they only take one hit to kill anyway. So I think this stage has the worst music out of all of them, personally. I kind of feel like the sumo guys should rank higher on my threat list than they do, but they have such wonky attack boxes that I don't really find them as threatening as their damage output seems like they should be. I don't know why it's easier to hit those guys when you're not facing them. I'm gonna just say poor coding. I appreciate that the enemies at least try to stay out of your sweep range. I mean, they don't do a good job of it, obviously, but... If they did do a good job of it, the game would be basically unplayable, so I get it.
Also, I keep referring to this like the people who made it actually cared about quality, but I'm pretty confident that wasn't the case. This video feels like it's going to be way too long, but... It would be a shame that there was not a complete log of this masterpiece of video gaming somewhere. I'm sure you understand. In other news, I did try test streaming a little bit, and it looks like it's a no-go for now. The, uh, bitrate... I have to use to not be dropping frames all over the place with the internet I currently have is so low that anything with any sort of, like, actual movement to it becomes an, a uh, horrible, blurry mess. There are also some audio issues, but those were just due to me being an idiot. I thought that was the end of the stage. So yeah, at the moment I can't really stream anything. But if I can get a better internet set up... Later, I'll give it another go. I mean, also I can stream, like, single-screen games okay, so maybe, maybe that'll happen sometime. Here is the uh, Raiden, I mean, Fatek, Iron Mask Man. His fire trochoid wizardry will surely be impossible to defeat. That, that wasn't fire, you jerk. You don't want to get tagged with those, uh, standing slaps, as you might imagine. That should mean we were able to do the super move now, though, so... If we can get him close... We can just end the fight. I'm not sure who decided to cash in and make Bruce Lee's leg-sweeping adventure, but in a way I'm glad they did. This was one of those things that was just kind of a joy to find. Yeah, that's probably true. So yeah, then that happens. It just kind of hard crashes right back to the title screen. I'm not sure if that means we won or if that means the game is just broken, but um, as far as I'm aware, that is the dragon. I'm going to ponder my life once again. That was a demo. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to ponder my life decisions one more time maybe actually do some proper work, which I put off to make this terrible video. Wow, the demo's bad at this. Anyways, later, guys.